What's going on guys, King Trats here, back in the video on the channel. And today, I am at a food truck festival here in my home state, North Jersey, Maywood, New Jersey. We have about 15 different things. I see grease trucks, oh my God. Oh, you know I'm getting a fat sandwich. I don't know what actually is here, to be honest. I didn't look at anything on purpose. I just heard food truck festival. It is about three o'clock in the afternoon. And I said, you know what? Let's do it for the content. So if you're digging the content, hit a thumbs up, the subscribe button, all that cringy stuff that every YouTuber says, but it really does help. And it lets us know we're doing a good job. There's so many things here and I cannot wait to try it. And I'm just, I'm really hungry. I see fat sandwiches. I see Latin food. I see waffles. I see grilled cheese food trucks. Brownie. F oh my God! You know what? I'm not. I'm gonna shut up until I come back with some food in my hand. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First things first. I had to stop at Mr. C's grease trucks. If you watch the show Man vs. Food, which being who I am, I was a big fan of. I remember watching this on television and Adam Richman, the host, ate four sandwiches in an hour. The record was five, he couldn't break it. But I remember watching the show, I was at college at this point, saying, man, I should have went to Rutgers and played football because I wanted this specific sandwich. I've had grease truck sandwiches, but not this one. And the food truck is actually here, so I am excited. I'm gonna hop online, I'm standing in line right now. It's pretty long, doesn't matter, I'm waiting. So I'm gonna grab one of these sandwiches and I will be back with some food. Oh. Ah, today, fam, is a special day. I just stopped at the grease trucks. You can see it in the background. But this right here, my friends, is the Fat Daryl. Now what the Fat Daryl is, I actually know this because I'm a huge fan of man food, like I said. It is chicken fingers, mozzarella sticks, french fries, and marinara sauce. This sandwich was named after a guy named Daryl because he actually broke the record and ate five sandwiches in an hour. And ever since I saw that episode, I wanted to try this very sandwich, and this is my first time biting it, and it smells so good. First bite, who's ready? It's everything I dreamed of. Chicken's nice and crispy. You can see the seasoning, very seasoned. Look at that. What really makes it is the bread. Super soft. Super fresh. I could easily eat this whole thing. And I can honestly see how hard it would have been for him to eat five sandwiches in an hour. Because he's not a competitive eater. Because it is a mouthful. But it's delicious. You see the nice mozzarella. Surprise. You are fortunate enough to get yourself to the great state of New Jersey, to Rutgers, to the Greek trucks, pick up a fat Daryl. It is everything I dreamed of. I'm gonna finish this bad boy up and I'm gonna go get some more wonderful food. Oh, food truck festivals. What a day. We got some authentic Polish barbecue as it says. I grew across the street from a Polish deli, which means I'm a big fan of it. So what I did was I grabbed myself a flaming hot kielbasa, which is in my hand. Nice kielbasa skewer, no mustard, no nothing, just raw dog. I'm a big fan of kielbasa. It's now this is supposed to be flaming, so I don't know if it's gonna be spicy or not, but we shall find out. That is a good sausage, I'm gonna tell you that much. Not necessarily spicy. I don't know what they mean flaming, but whatever, but it's just a kebab. Good flavor from the pork. And they got a snap from the skin. What a time to be alive. Last one for the road. But if you get your chance to get your hands on some Polish sausage, get away perverts. Grab it. I grew up eating it and I've always loved it. <sighs> Gotta get some. Stop number two, people, people, people. Magic Mike's smoked meats. I had to try the ribs. Look at this. See that smoke ring? You see that pink? You cannot duplicate that. And the other thing about it is how tender it is. Look at this thing and how it falls off the bone. This is gonna be a heck of a rib, I can tell already. Oh man. Super good smoky flavor. It's done with a dry rub. And it's not like excessive amount of seasoning left on there. And that's a sign of a good rib. Like I said, not overdone with crazy seasonings and things like that. They just got good meat. They did it low and slow, and they did it right. I'm gonna have to start getting these people's business cards and find out where they are, because there's not enough time left in this food truck there. Mm. Definitely recommend it. Look at that. 
right off the bump. More coming. All right, smoked mac and cheese from the barbecue joint. Again, Magic Mike's Barbecue. You know I had to get mac and cheese. It is smoked, and look at this cheese bit right there. That's the bite, hold on. Oh yeah, where are you going? I don't want to try it without the, yep, there we go. What are we saying? Fam, it's about to be lit. Oh my God. You can taste the smoke on that cheese right away. It is super cheese. Oh, spiral. <laughs> I'm having a food gasm right now. Hold on. Mm. This is up there in my mac and cheese category. This is so good. Got gouda I can taste, cheddar I can taste, and it's super aged smoky. Done right. You can taste the integrity of the noodle. I swear to you, if you do one thing in your life, you go to Magic Mike's and try this because it is so good. Cheers. Mm. Again, I'm sorry for spamming mac and cheese, but you know my love for cheese. If you're new to the channel, I love cheese so much. And I just want to reiterate again how good this is. I want to take a bath in this mac and cheese. I got to save my stomach, but I want more of this. Oh man, smoked mac and cheese is the play. Okay, moving on to the next. All right, I am here again. Another truck, another adventure. We went to Latin Bites. It said home of the Big Poppy, but they didn't have any. I was gonna get the David Ortiz. I don't know what that means, but these are empanadas. Now I got chicken and I got one chorizo. The problem is when I was in such a haste, I forgot to ask which one was which. But you know what an empanada is? It's dough filled with wonderfulness and they deep fry it. I don't know what's in this one, so it's gonna be empanada surprise. Hold on. Mm. That's chorizo. Good chorizo. Fresh chorizo. Mm. Very meaty too. You can see they didn't skimp on the filling. And the best part, they fried this outside to a golden brown perfection. It's so hard not to eat everything because I'm trying to get as much food in as I can. But if you see Latin Bites, you are in the area, definitely recommend this too. I know people think I like everything, but I'm a fan. Say what you want to. What's not to like about that? I tried this chicken empanada. I'm excited, man. Wow. You can't even see so much meat. Super good. I like the chicken even more than the chorizo. Probably because I don't like chorizo that much. Um, it seems to be very heavy on my stomach, but this is meaty. Look how much meat they put in these. And for $4, this thing eats like a meal. And you can see, that is real deal shredded chicken that they took off of the bone. Oh, this one's the best one. Jeff Renman's chicken if you get it. I got more food coming. Stay tuned. There's just so many trucks here, local businesses doing stuff right, homemade, nothing saved, nothing coming from a box. Get to a food truck festival, go. It is what foodies are all about. I'm about to get something else. I'm standing online. I'm excited. I'll be right back. Family, Wicked Waffle. We got a bunch of treats. We got a s'mores waffle stick, marshmallow fluff, chocolate syrup, graham crackers on a fresh homemade Belgian waffle. Look at this. What are we saying? Oh my goodness. It is, I'm, I'm just so happy right now. Good buttery Belgian waffle. You can tell they made that with love. And it's so decadent. With a s'mores flavor. S'mores flavor is just through the roof. Good crunch on the outside. Totally, totally recommend this one too. I'll tell you what, we've been swinging for the fences today with all this stuff and we've been hitting home runs the whole time. Nothing I haven't loved yet, which you know I love everything, but this is the play. One more bite. Mm. Oh my goodness. Family. Chocolate. Whipped cream. OG. Wanted to go with something a little basic. Oh my god. The waffle itself is just so good. You can tell this is Hershey's chocolate syrup. Ready whip. But the waffle is what makes it steaming, warm. Even the baby's crying because I won't give. S'mores is goaded. 
But this one's dope. And last, but not least, from the Wicked Waffle, Oreo Milkshake. You can see how big this is. This big thing right here costs $5. <laughs> Dairy Queen, eat your heart out. You can see the fresh Oreos going on in there. It is not skimping on the toppings that they put in here. You can put all the toppings that are listed on their menu in anything you want. So it's super versatile. You know I love versatility. Oh, wow. You really taste the Oreo in here. It's so thick. And there's so many Oreos in this. It tastes like you're actually drinking an Oreo. They didn't skimp on the toppings. It is one of the better Oreo milkshakes I've had. Like I said before, if you don't believe me, you can try some of these places out. I have pictures of all of them on here. I've been swinging for the fences all day and we've been in home runs. This is ridiculously good. And it's been really hard not to eat everything in sight. I'm not lying. Fresh Oreos, you can get Fruity Pebbles, which I should have got. There's so many options that I'm probably gonna visit these places if they're anywhere near me in any near foreseeable future. But definitely, Oreo milkshake, must cop. Wow, Oreo fans, rejoice, we made it. Fam, for my final swan song, buffalo chicken, grilled cheese, from Who Cut the Cheese Lady, which is one of the most wittiest names I've ever seen. Multi-grain bread, homemade buffalo chicken, lots and lots and lots of smoked, I believe that's Gouda? We're gonna find out. And a buttery, buttery. Oh yeah, buttery. You saw it, cheese pull. Smoked Gouda. Buffalo cheese. Buffalo chicken. Smoked Gouda. Ridiculous multi-grain bread. Ridiculous amount of cheese. That tangy, spicy buffalo. Life is good. Super creamy. Well done. It took 15 minutes to make and now I can see why. Can you? This is what grilled cheese is supposed to look like. Also, on the truck, it says, try our signature fries and you'll be back for more. So, every sandwich comes with fries. Oh, that's well seasoned. Crinkle cut. Good amount of seasoning. Not soggy. Good crunch, good chew. This is a ridiculously good grilled cheese sandwich and those are ridiculously good fries. Mm. I am stuffed. And that was the perfect ending for me to head on out of here. You saw all the food, food truck festival, Maywood, New Jersey, unbelievable. Everything was well done. Fam, that is gonna be the end of the video. If you like what you saw today, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. If you wanna see more food trucks, I'm getting into this. I know there are more in the area, so I can get to some. If you do guys do wanna see more, I'm probably gonna go anyway, because this is ridiculous. Like I said before, support your local businesses, support these small businesses. They make their food with love, made to order, Sometimes it takes a little time, but it's so, so worth it. I will be back ASAP. More content. I love y'all. Hand signs. They made it to YouTube.